So for number one, it shows this little situation here. With a triangle, if there's a set of parallel lines in the triangle, then you have proportionality. I'll use the colors. So this is proportional to this in the same ratio that this is proportional to this. And then we can set up a proportion to solve for the side lengths. Okay, so it said for QT, it says it's 5, so this is a length of 5. TR is 4. US is 6. And QU is what we're trying to find, so that's X. Okay, so we're going to do 4 over 5 equals 6 over X to find out what X is. So this to this is in the same ratio of this to this. And then you can cross multiply to solve. So you get 4X equals 30 divided by 4. And X equals or 30 divided by 4. I do carry 30 divided by 4. 7.5. So X equals 7.5. And that is the answer. I was supposed to use this same picture for the next problem. Okay, so I'm going to redraw this again over to the side because it wants us to use the same picture again. Okay, so TQ is X plus 1. So that would be this, X plus 1. TR is X minus 1 right here. QU is 10. And QS, the whole thing is 15. So then this segment right here would have to be 5. Okay, so just like I did before, I'm going to do this over this equals this over this. So x minus 1 over x plus 1 equals 5 over 10. And then we'll cross multiply. Here's where people get stuck, of course, but it looks like this. 5 times x plus 1 like this and 10 times x minus 1. And then to start solving this, we're going to distribute 5x plus 5, and then multiply 10 by both of these numbers to get 10x minus 10. x equals 3. Okay, number 3, it says refer to the figure, it gives us different segment lengths. It, finds, it says find x so BD is parallel to AE. Well, if these are parallel, then it has proportionality here. This is in proportion to this length in the same ratio that this is in proportion to this. So AB would be 5, ED, so this is 8, BC is 11, and DC is x minus 2. When you set up the ratio, you could either, either do 11 over 5 equals this over this, or you could do top to bottom. That would be fine as well. It might actually, in my brain, it makes sense to do top to bottom equals top to bottom right now. So I'm going to do 5 over 8 equals 11 over x minus 2. And then 8 times 11 is 88, and then 5 times x minus 2. Okay. 
distribute 5x minus 10. Same image. I'm going to redraw it so I have space to like label everything. AB is 4. BC is 7. ED is 5. And EC is 13.75. And that gives us 8.75 here. Okay, so it says just determine whether they are parallel. Um, so if these are equivalent ratios, then they're parallel. If 4 over 5 equals 7 over 8.75, then they're parallel. So in the calculator, I would just then do 4 divided by 5 and 7 divided by 8.75. And, oh, I hit the wrong button. 4 divided by 5. 7 divided by 8.75 is 0.8 each time. It equals 0.8 each time. So, this would be a yes. They are parallel because those are equivalent ratios. Another thing that happens in this lesson is when you have three parallel lines, um, it breaks up these transversals proportionally. So this to this is in the same proportion as this to this. It says in the diagram, first street is parallel to third and fifth street. Find the distance from third street to fifth street. So it wants to know this x if you traveled on fourth street. So we're going to set a proportion this over this. X over 1.8 equals 2.6 over 1.5. And then you can find that distance. Divided by 1.5. x equals 3.12. So out of the answer choices, d would be your best answer. And that's the goal.